The occupancy settings on an LCP or XPS system can be made in different locations. This is a typical sensor used in an LCP or XPS system. It has a passive infrared lens and an ultrasonic lens that are used called dual technology to detect motion. To adjust this timeout, at which point no motion will activate the undetected scene, you can simply remove the cover and adjust the black knob here. Setting it to the minimum setting of counterclockwise is an eight minute delay. Setting it to the maximum setting of fully clockwise is a 30 minute delay. Let's take a look at the settings in the LCP controller that deal with occupancy. From the main menu, select menu, then go down to installer settings. The occupancy sensors in an LCP or XPS system wire to a device called an OMXIO or an OMXAV. These are found under the control device setup menu. Find the address that corresponds to the address of the OMXIO or OMXAV device and select OK. You should see OMXAV or OMXIO selected on the screen indicating you've made the correct choice. Go to the specific contact closure number one through five that the occupancy center is wired to. You may need to refer to your system wiring diagrams or look at the wiring in the unit itself to confirm this setting. Once you've selected the proper contact closure input, you have two choices. The close action, which is what occurs when the space becomes occupied, and the open action when the space becomes unoccupied. Going to the close action, you can determine what you would like the lights in the space to do when they become occupied. Typical actions would include a custom scene or a global scene, depending on how you've configured your system. If we select global scene, we can select the scene number we want to be selected and then click done or OK. To select what happens when the room goes unoccupied, select open action and then you want to choose delay to off if that setting is not already chosen. When you click next, it tells you how much time it will take for the lights to turn off after the room becomes unoccupied. This is in addition to any time set on the sensor itself. So if your sensor time is at eight minutes, which is the minimum setting, and you set this time to off for two minutes, then the room will have to be unoccupied for a total of 10 minutes until the lights turn off. So select next, then select the zones you want to be affected by this. If you want zones two and three, go to those zones and press OK to toggle them on or off. Select next again. You can choose whether you want contact closures to be affected by this or not. Then would you like any fade time associated with it? If there are dim lights in the space, it's generally a good idea to have you know, a 10 second or more fade time to indicate to any users in the space the lights are about to turn off if the sensor does not detect them. You can also select how you want switching zones to behave, at the end of the fade or at the beginning of the fade. If you wish to make additional contact closure program changes, press yes, otherwise press no. When you're all done, press the home button to save the changes to the database. The LCP and XPS systems we just talked about are just one of several commercial systems offered by Lutron. Additional information on the LCP and XPS systems can be found at the links on screen. Lutron offers several other lighting control systems for new and existing installations. Athena is a dynamic lighting control system that brings the magic of light to elevate everyday moments. It is a flexible, simple, all-in-one solution that combines the world's most advanced light source, Ketra, with intelligent shades and connected apps to deliver a holistic light experience. Quantum is Lutron's high-end commercial system, offering the ultimate in lighting and shading flexibility for today's high-performance buildings. Its wide variety of controls and web-based interface provide occupants and facility managers the tools they need to optimize the functionality of any space. Vive is Lutron's simple, scalable wireless solution for new and retrofit applications, making it easy to meet energy code while maintaining flexibility for the changing demands of today's modern buildings. Contact your local Lutron representative for more information on these and other Lutron solutions. Go to lutron.com slash where to buy for more information.